Hello, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Y'all, I think I'm getting sick. This is stress. This is the stress. We'll talk about it when I'm done with this because I'm sick and tired of people being in my comments going, you talk too much. So do you. So do you. I'll talk to you after we do the actual reason for the thumbnail and then I'll talk. What sold in March? It won't take long. It won't take long at all. I've got three little stacks here. Little being the operative word. Um, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, <laughs> I'm furious, actually, because it feels like nothing sold after I left. But um, there's three little stacks here. One of them is so little, it's, it's one. $10 for a... Tupperware magnet and an on, on a run magnet. So those two magnets. So the rose modeling shelf sold finally, but it sold on Sunday for 10% off. So it was $19.80. Looks like everything sold on Sunday for 10% off. They have trained their clientele at Picket to not buy anything until Sunday. And then they come on Sunday like locusts and you think 10% is not that big of a deal until you aggregate it over all the stuff they took 10% off of. And you're like, great, I'm 10% poorer because everything I sold is 10% less. Um, handmade resin bird. So one of my freaking birds, they got 60 cents off of $5.40. Yellow Tupperware, $8. Egg wreath. $12. Amber storage jar, $12. Easter flag. I don't remember an Easter flag. Is that one of the ones I made? The wooden ones, $5? Yep, yeah, two. Easter flag. The German egg sold for $4. Um, another amber glass, $12. Suddenly the amber glass is... How long have I had that since Junk Bonanza two years ago? And I'm like, okay, two years ago, amber glass was hot and nobody bought it. And then like two years later, let's work it that one. Two cards, $12. Two cards, $12. Green birdhouse and a white birdhouse. $18 for both. A Tupperware midget. The last midget sold for $3. Orange Tupperware pitcher. $12. That didn't even go into my booth. I didn't even go into my booth and look at it. Clock. $10. That's the one that I made that we decoupaged and um, I was there when that one sold. Gold picture frame, $8. Cute daffodil print, y'all, $9. That was that one that, I think it was from my mom's bathroom. Bunny covered dish, finally $8. That's that Easter dish. Another bunny dish, $5. That was the one that was open. It's just an open little candy dish. Metal birdhouse, $11. Uh, vintage can, $8. Three mirrors, $9. Those were the little mirrors that sold on the first day. Henna nest, $6. That was that little mini one. A little mini white hen on nest. Floral print at a white frame. That was the Doom Pile floral print for $24. But we knew that had sold. We already knew that one. 
And then I have this last little stack here. And when I say little, this is like $100 worth of stuff. So don't get comfortable. We won't be here long. Okay. Magnet, $4.50 because they bought it on Sunday. Wire basket with yellow grass. Oh, my God. Y'all, that stupid basket's been with me since I opened the booth. $9. Blank card, $6. Blank card, $6. Farmhouse pitcher, $9. That was one of the ones that was gifted to me. Um, one of the 1-800-Flowers farmhouse pitchers. Watering can, candle holder, $6. Blank card, $6. Metal thimble and bobbin, $1. One whole dollar. Surprised I didn't buy it on Sunday. Light cover, $10. Literally, I have no idea what that is. I don't know what that is. Light cover. I can't picture it. Light cover. It's not a lampshade or I would have written lampshade. Light cover. No idea. No. None. Anyway. Um, what is this? The key dusting. <laughs> Wonder dusting. $8 tin. Ah, uh, some Tupperware gadgets. $5 worth. Five gadgets sold. Vintage Tupperware lunchbox sold. $12. I had some people come in who appreciated Tupperware finally. One of my rabbits sold $3. Rabbit, $3. It's not one of the ones I made. Or it would have said resin rabbit. I must have had a little figurine, rabbit figurine. Oh, yeah, I had a couple of them, $3. Platter, $8. I'm limited edition magnet, $5. Another rabbit, $3. Another rabbit, $3. Tea tin, $2. This is that little mini tea tin. Uh, the ingredients, magnet, $5. Gadget, $1. It's a good thing the magnets are selling because they drew that uh, payment for those out of my bank account. $200 for that. <sighs> Y'all, okay. So I'm just, I don't feel well. I think part of the reason is because I worked really hard on the newspaper leading up to today. Today we laid out the paper. It'll come out the day you're watching this is the day that the paper will come out. And I just kind of worked myself up and got really stressed out. And then I think we went to that event this weekend and my immune system was just trounced on from, frankly, stressing myself out. So... I don't feel good. I'm angry that I don't have enough money to pay my freaking bills again. And <laughs> I'm tired because I did a lot of work today at the paper. I'm very proud of what I did at the paper. Um, as we were laying out the paper, the pages were laid out on like a conference table in a common area. And people were reading it and I didn't realize how much interest there was going to be. I mean, it is a special edition kind of, we, we don't do these themed issues a lot. So, I mean, it got, it got attention from the people that were, even the people that work there. And I heard a lot of, wow, good job. Wow. Good job. Wow. Good job. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so... I'm very proud of it, and I hope it helps because we've we've lost another young person. There was another um, obituary in this issue of someone way too young to die because of fentanyl, and I hope that I hope people can learn from reading this because there's a lot of stupidity when it comes to things like addiction and. It's frustrating for me 
it's very stressful for me to do obituaries for a 17-year-old, a 30-year-old, a 31-year-old, a 20-year-old, and know that they, they were just in pain. Maybe not physical pain, but pain. And I've heard stupid comments along the way from people such as, you know, if the addicts all die, at least the problem will be solved. That hurts. I mean, first of all, it's ignorant. It's absolutely ignorant because it will happen to you. It will happen to your family. There's not one family in America not touched by addiction. And we can hide from it and we can, we can pretend it's not happening and we can lie about it. We can lie to ourselves. But the truth is with the amount of people suffering from some kind of substance abuse, and that could be anything from alcohol to fentanyl and beyond. And the truth is, we are all touched by it. Just because alcohol is socially acceptable doesn't make it any less substance abuse. Just because we are legalizing marijuana doesn't make it any less of a substance abuse problem when somebody's abusing it. And it's just really disheartening for me because what I learned, and I mean, I knew there was a connection between mental illness and drug addiction. I didn't realize how deep that ran. And I didn't realize how many people I spoke to were going to tell me that they were sexually assaulted as children and that they didn't feel they could tell their parents or their parents told them to forget about it. And it caused a lifetime of mental anguish and pain that led them to the brink of death. And it's been a long month of researching this and writing about it. And it was really, it's been really frustrating and really actually inspiring. The people that I've spoken to have been incredible. And I just need this to help someone. I need someone to read it and have a change of heart, or I need someone to read it and decide that they need to get help and be damned. Let the shamers be damned. Because it shouldn't be a moral issue. We are losing children. And I am so frustrated. I'm going to cry again. I've been crying for a month. <laughs> I've been crying for a month. Um, working on these stories. I wrote six stories for the paper this week. And... I had to listen to people tell me stories that hurt my heart so bad, guys. But anyway, that's that's my reason I'm so frustrated right now. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. I don't even have the wherewithal to do a project today. So that's why we're doing a what's old video because I'm wiped out. I'm just tapped out from this. This has been an emotional roller coaster. First of all, writing it was extremely difficult. It wasn't an easy process. And researching it and having to deal with the emotions and I think I need a nap. I just need I need a nap. And a cookie. <laughs> I, think, I think I earned a cookie. <laughs> I just want to help someone. I just hope that it can change one person's way of thinking about. Change my way of thinking. But I guess it changed one person. <laughs> I had compassion for people. I have more compassion now. I didn't realize when I started, and I had compassion when I started. It wouldn't have bothered me enough to write about it. 
but I don't think I had the understanding and I never understand anything until I write about it. That's how I process things. It's a catharsis for me to write things down. So I know I care about what's happening. Otherwise, it would not have bothered me enough to take the steps I needed to to start writing this. It wouldn't have bothered me. You know, if it hadn't bothered me, I wouldn't be writing it. But it changed my understanding of why it's bothersome. Not just that it's people dying. It's people wounded and walking around unprotected and uncared for. That's frightening to me. Like we don't care about each other anymore. I see it online all the time. And I see people literally like a pack of freaking wolves. It looks like, it looks like Lord of the Flies. If you go into the comment section of some TikTok videos, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. And it's hurt people hurt people, right? So these people have been damaged fundamentally and they're now wounding other people and people are harming themselves because they have no way of coping with what's happening. And I can't fix it, but I can write about it. <laughs> and maybe I can chip away a small piece of the block of the problem. And then you can take a piece and chip at it. And then you could take a piece and chip away at it. And maybe once there's a bunch of us chipping away just a little bit at the problem, we can make a difference. Let's hope so. It's, it's hard. It's really hard being a human, but we can do it if we try. <laughs> so thanks for watching, you guys. I love you. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.